Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the central desert, east of Muriela's Hope, building a caravan rest stop. This build was suggested by Torn on my Argosian Manor build guide, so thank you for the suggestion Torn. As usual, this build was previously streamed live on Twitch, so if you want to see future YouTube builds being constructed in real time, along with having your own input on them, feel free to drop me a follow over on Twitch to see my next stream. I'm about to upgrade my PC quite significantly over the next day or two, lord knows I need it, so I'll be streaming other games aside from Conan, most likely GTA Roleplay, so I do hope to see you all there. As always, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 70% off NordVPN when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt, or use code eradyt at checkout. Stick around until the end of the video to learn more about how to unlock the full potential of the internet with NordVPN. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we're going to start off with, of course, the base plate. I'll be using stable fence foundations, and I'll be using stable with terranian accents as the material palette for the build. The suggestion asked for more of a fortified caravan stop, though I just couldn't get this more rustic design out of my head. Therefore, instead of trying to choose between the two or fuse the ideas together, I'll be building both. The fortified one is probably going to be somewhere a little further up north, and will be very much the opposite aesthetically of this build. Next for the walls. After building a small staircase, I built a small cloakroom next to the stairs and continued to build the walls up, then covering the top of the walls with stable ceilings. This was a pretty simple layout, and I used lattice walls to work in some long form windows, which worked quite nicely. I chose not to use terranium to cover the top of the walls, as I think the stable ceilings work well and provide something a little warmer to the rooms above, which functionally works much better. I next built the walls up on the first floor, building a balcony on the front and left side of the build, and covering the outdoor drinking areas with Kitan roofs. I also placed some rooftop end pieces above the lattice windows to block rain from coming in. However, I didn't like them after a while, and I thought they interfered with the aesthetics of the build. Basically, I didn't think they looked good, so I eventually removed them.
Next, I built the roof. I ran a smaller roof over the stairway section, merging it using inverted corner pieces into a larger roof over the rooms. I also left a large hollow attic space underneath the roof, which I'll be using as storage for the rest up to hold kegs, barrels and such for the tavern below. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the rest up with hanging terrainian lamps, as I think they fit the style of this build quite well. I've also included some stables outside for the horses. Entering the rest up, the ground floor is a tavern that is spacious and has plenty of room for patrons to drink, chatter and relax. I've used a couple of mod items here and there to include some more rustic decorations that I think help to liven up the tavern and make it feel a bit more alive and like an actual tavern. The cloakroom is a small storage area where patrons can check in their items for safekeeping that they don't wish to keep on their person, such as coins, valuables, personal effects and more.
Heading upstairs, we reach the bedrooms, where patrons can rent a room for the night. These are small rooms with the basic necessities, but they work well to provide a comfortable place to rest your head for the night. Climbing up into the attic, this is the storage compartment for the rest stop, where excess kegs of alcohol, dried goods and other amenities can be stored safely. And there we have it, a caravan rest stop in the central desert, east of Muriela's Hope. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Torn again for the suggestion. This more rustic rest stop is designed to be something of a much more traditional design, whereas I'm thinking the fortified one I'll be doing soon is designed as more of a border guard post to check incoming goods, give caravaneers a place to rest and protect the region. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure your location can't be tracked by shady individuals, all whilst being able to unlock region-locked content like Netflix, BBC, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more, whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is perfect for you. When you use my link or discount code, you can get 70% off a 3 year deal, which comes out to $3.49 a month or about £2.80 if you're in the UK, which is a bargain price for such a great service. The software is a small download and it's easy to use, one click and you are both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt to claim this huge discount, or use code eradyt at checkout to get the best VPN service available on the internet, and also help to support me and the channel at the same time. As always, a big thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. And don't forget you can get 70% off NordVPN when you use code eradyt at checkout, or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and the pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full time source of income. So if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. During the lockdown, most of us are still in. The video previews that are usually restricted to the $20 tier will be open for the $10 tier as well, so everyone's got a little bit more content to enjoy. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Dawnfox, MK Pantheon, and Daniel Dahlgreen. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Conan Exiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.